For the people that are wondering what we're doing today, today um, is a premiere, dudes and dudettes, it's a premiere. We start a new format today, which is called Rage Rates. She ah. sorry. Oh. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take different items, can be food, can be normal things, and we rank them from our favorite to least favorite. And um, I thought we're gonna start the series off with a bang. And um, so I decided to take cereal. Whoops. So we're gonna be t tasting and testing 10 different cereals. And I'm gonna rate them from best to worst. And in the, in the journey of doing that, probably gonna uh, offend a lot of you, gain some new friends, lose some old ones. In case you like the series, um, please leave a comment about what you want me to rate next. Should it be maybe, um, I already requested Monster Energy. I'm trying currently to collect the most different Monster Energies. If you have other ideas that you want me to try, doesn't matter what it is. If it's something food related, if it's some other items that you would want me to rate, um, let me know. Question is, what do you put in first, milk or cereal? And if you answer wrong, gonna have a problem the obvious answer is cereal goes in first if you put in milk first there's something wrong with you okay we're starting frosties now the first impression we're gonna have it while they're still crispy okay so first spoon delicious very sweet this is such a freaking nostalgia thing you know don't you feel like it so guys, how do you eat Frosties? Do you eat them crunchy? Do you eat them soggy? Okay, rating the Frosties. I think Frosties are a stable standard cereal that I appreciate. I give them a solid 7 out of 10 burps for the simple reason that they're basic, they're sweet, they have a good crunch, the milk afterwards is nice. Moving on. We're going to a big favorite of a lot of people. Uh. I was never a big fan of Fruit Loops. We had them at home every now and then. I don't know, to be honest, the color threw me off a little bit. Wasn't really, wasn't really that appealing to me. Also, let's talk about the packaging now. They're now called Unicorn Loops. So you can have the classic Fruit Loop on the front. And then if you turn it around, it's unicorn loops. Whoever had this idea... I have to admit, the aftertaste... Chef's kiss. Tastes like, tastes like berries. But, like the first, like when you have it in the mouth and you chew it, it tastes like cereal. Uh, like cardboard. Um, I would give the fruit loops I would uh, a four out of ten. Yeah. It's like I don't know. Four out of ten for me. Sweet cardboard with the aftertaste of berries. Cookie crisps. Let's talk about them, right? So cookie crisps for me. You see them on a picture, you're like, oh fuck yeah, cookies. They look like tiny cookies. The, the cookie crisp is the clickbait of all cereal. They make you believe you're about to have little cookies in a bowl that you would eat. But it's not tiny cookies. It's just something that looks like a cookie that doesn't taste like a cookie. Did they get worse? I don't know, like the last time to be honest, I had cookie crisp is what then was a child. How did they get worse? They taste like ass. I remember them at least being sweet as fuck. What happened? What? Two out of ten <coughs> cookie crisps. <clears throat> a two. Yeah. A fucking two. Tastes like nothing. Wasted calories. Clickbait of cereal. This 
is one of my top two cereals. I have two cereals that I really love. And this is the stable one, the staple one that I can just always eat. Okay, let's go. Let's go in. That's amazing. I already know it. Chocolatey, crunchy, sweet, great texture. Mm. If you have never had those, I don't know what you're doing with your life. This is the beauty of the cereal. Do you see the color of the of the milk? I'm not pregnant, no. No pregnant. You would have to have sex for this and I'm obviously not married. Hello. No ring on my finger. <clears throat> and now we're going to finish this and then we're going to have the chalky milk. Mm. Guys, 10s on the board. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 everywhere. 10 out of 10 cereal. <laughs> this is the one out, of, one out of two superior cereal. Oh. Mm. Chocos. That's the way to go. 10 out of 10. Crispies. Choco Crispies. The monkey ones. We're coating everything evenly with the milk. And then we're going in. I, I think I had those ones last time when I was a child. Like probably like 12 or something. 10, 12, I guess. <clears throat> you get chalky milk really fast. But the consistency is literally fucking ass. After, what was it? Two minutes maybe? See, the first spoon was good. And now it's S. So you, this would be a cereal where you literally have to. I'm sorry to say that, guys. Okay, do you want? Okay. Show that booty. Show that booty working. Um. So yeah, this is a cereal that you would have to speed run, or you put milk, and then just put put the cereal on top. It tastes like S. Literally it tastes like nothing in chalky milk. Uh. It's not unedible. Four extra uh. point for the chalky milk. Okay. <clears throat> uh, ball thingies. They look like like bunny poop. I always said they look like bunny poop. Mm. Mm. I don't know. To be honest, chocolatey cardboard. I would rate those the same as the Krispies. But technically, if you eat them without it, they're good. Without milk, they're fine. I give them a five. Oh, oh it's so good. Mmm. Should I show you how much I love cinnamonies and the chocos? It's cinnamon cereal milk. Here. Cinnamon cereal milk way. And the other one is chocolate cereal milk. Here. Those are the two cereal uh, the two ways that I use. If you're wondering where those guns come from, they don't come from anywhere. Clearly 10 out of 10, obviously. <laughs> I mean it's a no-brainer. It's Cineminis, guys. 10 out of 10. So, Lama Loops. Let's see. Yes, they're so good. They're so good. Mm. I love them. I love them. They're so good. Man, this might be a 10 as well. So simple. And the milk afterwards is also so good. The little honey milk moment after. Mm. 10 out of 10. So let's talk about Trezor. So for me, they're good here and there, but I would never, if I would not live with Nathan, I would never buy a pack because they're just so, oh, so, so much, right? So, but taste wise, they're very good. So I would say the milk afterwards is meh. 
but not bad they are also good when you're soggy and good when you're crunchy so yeah i would say a six ah. i give this a six i like them but i can't eat, a mu eat much of them so six for them okay i'm gonna give them a try and i'm gonna tell you what my adult self thinks about them okay ah <sighs> man they still taste like ass. I don't even understand where the sugar is going to. It tastes like popcorn a little bit. Is this... What kind of grain is this? Oh, it's uh, wheat. I, don't, I think I, I would rather eat Fruit Loops than Smacks. So I'm going to give it a three. <coughs> Who is going to be the top one? I already made my decision. Is it the Cinnamonies or is it the Chocos? Who is the number one? Tell me, who is the winner? If you're watching this on YouTube, pause the video, put it in the comments, and then continue watching. So for me, second place goes to Cinnamonies, and the winner are the Kellogg Chocos. So first place, second, third, and then all the way down. Yep. This is this is my ranking. I love you all, um, and I'm gonna see you again.